I put together my solar power system, primarily provide power to my critical loads like the refrigerator, lights, and other appliances, should the power grid go down long term. Uh, secondarily, I did it to help lower my bills, my electric bill, um, uh, at least some. It's not a big system. Now, my home has outlets just like most homes do in, in all the you know, utility outlets, public utility, uh, in, in all the rooms in the bathroom and the kitchen, and uh, they work fine. But I use my system is designed to use alongside the uh, the grid or the the public utility in my house. I literally wherever there's a utility outlet, well not wherever, but in in some of the rooms where there's a utility outlet, I, you'll see a, a solar outlet right next to it or near it. And uh, so I'm kind of the transfer switch. You know, I move it back and forth based on when I you know what I what I want to do. Uh, if it's really uh, stormy out, I'll just unplug from solar and plug it into the utility. So, um, and a goal of mine is to s I set this up so that uh, it it would charge fully you know, when it's when it's nice out, or maybe I can deal with 70% clouds. But it's designed to be fully charged by the time the sun is no longer providing power to my panels every day. And, and that's still running everything I want to run. So I, I kind of wanted to do that because, uh, pr again, primarily it's a, it's a backup system uh, for emergencies. So I want to be sure that it's, it's always there and, uh, and fully charged. All right, I'm going to show you uh, all of the components and, uh, and, and how, how I use it. First, I'll, I'll show you the panels. Okay, this is my solar panel array, 1,650 watts. And uh, there's six Solar World 275 watt panels, and then that's my ham radio antenna. Uh, they go into the combiner box right out here, and I have a lightning suppressor with it. And then they go into the house right here. Now I have a ground wire. The whole system is grounded into a six foot copper rod, and uh, in fact. It's grounded better than my house is grounded because I don't. It's an old home. I show faults on my power strips when I already use those on my uh, on the home, but that shows great grounding for the system here. Now the 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 cable from the um, panels come come through my wall here into my battery enclosure, then into now. Uh, then I have my midnight controller, which is the uh, classic 150, and uh, my Whizbang Junior. So you can see under bulk right here. You can, then you you can actually see the battery is 83 percent. So uh, the, that's because of this Whizbang Junior. It's awesome to have. Okay, so it charges my batteries. Now my battery bank consists of four six volt, 415 amp hour batteries. They weigh about a 115 pounds each, uh, eight AGM batteries, high quality, uh, no fumes. Uh, they're 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 great batteries. Uh, to get, I have them hooked up as a 12 volt system, so it's now 12 volts, 830 amp hours. Okay, then the power goes to my inverter, 2,000 watt Kotec uh, uh, inverter. Changes electricity to AC 120. Then uh, goes to my load panel here. And the load panel has Romex wire going into the wall, under the house, and into the rooms where I want to provide some solar power uh, in their own outlet right near the utility outlets. And, of course, I have breakers for every one of the, uh, the outlets, and they're appropriately sized for the type of appliance I want to run. Now, the first outlet, or the first breaker, here goes to uh, my outlet right here. I put this on the outlet on this side so that uh, I can run my power strip with all my computer and printer and router attached to it right here. That way at night I can just turn it off and uh, cut the uh, phantom loads so I don't lose, uh, you know, I don't waste any battery at all that way. Okay, the next outlet I want to show is the one in the hallway. This is a solar outlet right here. 
Uh, it has my uh, landline wireless phone and my house alarm. This is the utility outlet. This is the solar only. Just to repeat, my solar is completely independent off-grid from the utility outlet. My system is, work, is designed to work alongside, literally, uh, um, in conjunction with the um, utility outlet. So I have an option of plugging it in if, if I choose to. If the weather's really bad, I'll just unplug them and put them in there. Okay, so the alarm has a, this is a house alarm. It does have a battery, but it only lasts half a day. So I, I put, it, put it in the solar. Now let me get the light on. In my room, had a tough time getting this outlet in. That's why you see all the wall like this. There's a solar outlet right here, and I have a power strip that goes to my TV and a cable box. I know you can't see it well. It's back here. And so, anyway, I'm running off solar. And behind the desk, or I mean, behind the dresser, is the utility outlet. Now, this open one right here is for, um, I, in the wintertime, if the power goes out, I can plug an extension cord in there and run my electric blanket and lights to, to stay warm. In the living room here, that's the, is the sol that's the solar outlet right here, and right there is the utility outlet. Now I'm running my TV and everything. It's not on right now, but I have my TV and everything usually during the day if I'm here on on uh, solar. Then this is my refrigerator. It's a full-size freezer refrigerator, and I run a quad outlet here, which is solar only. Treadmill coffee maker refrigerator 24 7 and right next to it is a utility outlet again I can just plug it in here now it's going to be beautiful out for a few days right now it's springtime uh, but I know it's going to rain for three days this weekend so I'm just going to go um, you know unplug and plug it here this is goes in the other room but uh, I can just plug these in when it's going to rain that way again my goal is to keep my battery a hundred percent because it is primarily an emergency backup system so uh, put it over there and, and keep my batteries at 100% in case I need them. And right here is another solar outlet. This is for my dishwasher. At, and it takes at times 1300 watts. So um, we're saving some power here. Behind the um, stove is the utility outlet. Now on the other side of the wall there's an outlet, a solar outlet for the clothes washing machine. So um, I run that all the time as well. I hope this has been, you know, helpful so that some of you, if you're trying to decide what to do, uh, I, this might have given you some ideas. Uh, I will post another video that will show the changeover from 12 volt system to a 24 volt system and the reasons I did that. So stay tuned for more uh, video on my solar setup. Thanks. Share if you like and uh, I mean like if you like. Thanks for watching.